Hello, I am Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumin Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. Today is April 10th. Uh, I want to just talk to you about a few things and sort of give you an update. I know a lot of people have been having a really, really intense time ever since uh, the equinox in March. And that itself was a tough time. The past uh, weekend with the eclipse or what people call eclipse season, lunar eclipse, which was visible to some extent for a lot of people. But what did that do for a lot of people? Well, it, it dredged up a lot of stuff. People had a lot of wobbliness, a lot of intensity, and it's starting to level off now. So for those of you who have uh, done a lot of your work, I applaud you, you held steady through it, and you're doing excellent. Other people in many ways have no idea what's going on. And even, in fact, around me, just that weekend, uh, calls from friends, someone's dad went to the hospital, two people lost their jobs, uh, another person, their kid got sick. Like, there was, it, it just seemed like one of those times that, you know, things were just breaking loose. And that's the truth of it. Uh, there were doors closing, there was other doors opening. Uh, I myself had a lot of feedback from family and friends. We also had quite a bit that left this past weekend. So there were a lot of things that came up and out of people almost without them even knowing it because some of it is very subtle. A lot of it had to do with... Uh, misbeliefs, misconceptions, mental beliefs uh, based on the government, religionistic things, etc., etc. And whether or not it's truth, whether or not it's the way it originally was, if it's gotten distorted, it's coming up and out of the collective. But the up and out of the collective that creates this cloud that a lot of you are rising through and for a lot of you, you've been on this path for a while. Your twin flame is in crash course time. It's a crash course. You're in an acceleration. I also want to acknowledge a lot of people that are very recently on the path or awakened. I've had a lot of people letting me know that their awakening was only in four months, seven months, a year. And it's been crash, boom, bang for them. In some ways, it's been easier, but it's been in a compressed period of time, and and yet they're doing it. They're 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 holding steady in it. They're finding their ways to ground themselves. They're also uh, understanding from the inside, and there's several reasons for that. Some of it has to do with it's their timing. It's time for them to come together. It's also it, these are some of the things that we've talked about is that there will be subsequent people. So while some people may have parked themselves or they, they're camping out, they're going to stay there, they took up with someone else, uh, there are other people that got called forward. And the universe has been doing this thing in some ways where it's like, wait, 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 go. Go, go, hurry up. And this it's this stop and go that's it's making some of us just we're going nuts with it. Why? Why would the universe want me to move forward only to stop me? But this is an immense orchestration. And I want to let you know that we're in a really good part for a lot of you that are entering into your union this year. This is a huge year for not simply twin flame unions, divine counterparts, and divine relationships. And divine relationships does not mean always that that old expired marriage or old expired relationship or family situation is intended to have all this loveliness. A lot of you are knowing when things have expired already and you're finding that it's difficult to move on and out. And there's reasons for it. There, there's a, a collective mentality about it. And breakups are never easy. However, it is going to become easier and easier and easier as we move along. So what I really want to talk to you about is acknowledge for a lot of you that sense 
that you and your twin flame belong within each other. And I don't just mean you belong to each other, not in a possessive way. It's that sense of belonging from the inside. And what I like to say is uh, you dance with a soulmate, but when you're a twin flame, you dance within your twin flame. We dance within each other. When it's a twin flame or divine counterpart uh, union. Twin flames are getting a lot of focus, a lot of attention. It's out there. It's in the air. There's people that are promoting it. There's people. There's only a certain percentage of people here on this planet that truly are true twin flames. However, I want to encourage you, don't be too judgmental towards other people because some of the self-serving parts of it, it'll be apparent. But I want to remind you of what Twin Flames are here doing. You're here to be in love again. That is first and foremost the mission. You're here to be in love with your true love, period. It's from your love together that you pull in source love and you transmit it out. And the things that come through people's readings, the future endeavors that they will do together, does include television shows, music, uh, it can be interior design, architecture, working with animals, working with the environment, oceans. It can be other types of designs for machinery or equipment or uh, methods. A lot of people are making that shift and those platforms are there. And I'll give you an example. How are we communicating? It's through YouTube, it's through the internet, it's through a device. I'm wearing a device and I didn't, this stuff didn't exist. When we went, when I wanted to go play with my friends, we went over to our friend's house and we rang the bell and if we were scared, we went around to their, to their, their room and we were like, hey, come on and come on out and play. There were no cell phones and it, it's that way for a lot of you people. I'm not saying something that's out of the range here for a lot of you to recall. However, in order to uh, reach a mass of people, we have needed certain technological advances in place. Well, those people that did the technology, guess what? They're here for the very same thing that you've been working on and creating. So we're all helping each other. Um, no judgments against people that may or may not be uh, perceived by you as being a twin flame. A lot of those people have had this sort of protective coating on them so that they can function while you go through your awakening. Now, a couple other things I want to talk to you about, and some of you are aware of this. How this is happening, because as you know, if you're a twin flame, you are all things large and all things small, right down to your God particle. We're doing this from the inside out. It's effervescent. It is ethereal. It is light. And it's happening almost in a method like similar to osmosis. It is similar to this type of uh, transference, being able to permeate. And it's, it's happening whether you want it or not. The essence of your twin flame is coming into you and you into them. So this is what I do mean about belonging within each other. Now some of the things that you start to notice is that you feel very calm. I also want to let you know that uh, for some of you, it doesn't matter how lovely a soulmate is or how gorgeous or handsome or beautiful they are. If they start to bore you or something starts to bore you, catch on because that is a good thing. That boredom is detachment. You are detached and you're moving along. Okay, that is a really good thing. It took me a minute to understand that and that started happening with soulmates and part of the reason I stopped with soulmates, I couldn't handle the breakups. They were painful beyond what anything that I wanted to continue with. 
And it's not that we're not attracting soulmates. For me, it was a very personal choice. I can't, I don't want to handle that pain. That's where a lot of you are at. You want to, how do I stop this pain? How do I stop the pain? Yes, I know, I know it with my head, even my, my heart's telling me. How am I stopping the pain? I want to let you know it is stopping. The parts of your old emotional, your mental emotional body are breaking up with everything. And these are the small, teeny tiny parts of your connections of the central nervous system of your soul that are getting cleaned and cleared out all the way back to your points of origin. But you're feeling like maybe you're in that like jewelry cleaner, like it's ultrasonic, it's just very anxious, vibrating. A lot of you have found a calmness within this. And those are the people that, yes, they're moving along. Now, another thing that people are noticing is that with your twin flame, your puzzle pieces do fit together. This is to depict a puzzle piece. And you have matching weirdnesses. I sort of, uh, I started noticing that with a lot of people that you have complementary quirks. And that is because your twin is the other you. You start noticing, and so does your twin flame, how... Other people are different from you and how your twin flame is like you. How are they similar to you? You start noticing all those little weirdnesses. And beyond that, for you it's cute. For you it's adorable. For you it's very sweet. It's them. But for other people, they're just, they're just being weird or something like that. Between the two of you, this, these, there are things that fit. And you're throwing away all the garbage that doesn't belong. It's going to be belief systems. Um, different, you know, different beliefs about different things. And there's all kinds of stuff going. You're traveling through a miasm of the pollution of the mental of the collective. The mental body of the collective is polluted with stuff. And it will be for some time to come. Those of you that are able to elevate and maintain and hold your love bubble are going to find that you're in bonus time, even if you're not with your twin flame in the physical yet. Because being able to do that, help it, you're, you're like floating along the top. You're flying above the radar. You're not flying below the radar. You're flying above the radar. Okay? You're, you're flying above that stuff. You've already breached the crowds and you're, you're flying ahead. So you are shifting out of the old third fourth density environment into your elevated higher love way of being and thriving in union that you yourself created. I'll give you for example. Around here I'm in Chicago. We're having our typical stormy weather for this time of year. And we've had some real erratic weather. In fact, every every country that I where I've spoken to people you're all reporting back that there is some really strange weather patterns, uh, pa weather that seems out of the norm for that time of year. It could be extreme hot, extreme cold, extra snow, extra stormy, extra windy. So here in Chicago, we've had uh, several days of uh, storms going on. And what is that? Well, that's just a part of the spring cleaning, clearing out, blowing out, getting it's the winds of change, all of that, it's symbolic of that, but it's actually that too. And a friend of mine was trying to do something with her credit card, calls in, the storm knocked out their whole system. Called back in 15 minutes, knocked out the computer system again. And what she was able to perceive going on at the higher level of all of this was that that credit card company was being elevated up to her loveliness, okay? And this this is exactly what particularly Blu-ray Twin Flames are doing. We've pulled up and out. We have literally elevated and we're pulling all the things that we love and that we want to love us back with us. 
and the means to do so for some of you the means is still going to be financial it will be credit it will be new uh, avenues open up for financial abundance because yes a lot of you are still going to be here you're still going to maintain whether it is for five years for ten years a lot of you have families you have children you still need to maintain a household an environment you still need to educate clothe feed and provide for children and a lot of you are wondering how's it going to happen like really all this stuff's on my shoulders I I worry and I worry and I worry how you do it is you elevate into your higher love your higher way of being and I want to talk to you briefly about uh, something that I call the mental emotional false twin okay a lot of people have become aware of the false twin and the false twin is there's usually been an engagement with sexual energy the mental emotional false twin is someone who is very strongly connected to your uh, mental body it can a lot of times it can be family a lot of times it can be a spouse it could be a spouse where you're trying to move things along you know that marriage is expired and what happens guess what happens mental emotional false twin happens because why because all those other considerations about the kid the family budget the finances all of the things that you've mentally connected with that person are trying to crack away and and you know if you keep putting it back in it cannot break away so you wind up with a situation where you have a soulmate you know they're a lovely person their friend but they're a roommate they're a brother or they're a sister or they're winding up feeling like your kid your child and you might have children on top of it some of you if you're a single parent may be doing a disservice for you to your child by putting your child into that position of like well I'm not with my twin flame I'm going to you know spend time and do things with my child be very careful with that because uh, you want to keep the spaces open for your twin you want to continue adjusting your body and you want to continue allowing your new chakras to make their higher connections and that is a lot of what I talk about in my webinars particularly the last two uh, one that I call the human body in transition and I had a lot of information in that but the most recent one your angelic light body in transition that one had not only a lot of the information about the chakras the connection points how it circulated but also positions on how to open your channels and get to your elevated state to allow the love to flow through you in you with you within you and yeah belonging within each other how many of you since you started watching videos not even just my videos but since you started watching about videos about twin flames and you started to get some answers all of a sudden maybe you went from feeling like a misfit to feeling like I belong to something I am something this is my identity and I felt that way I'm gonna say this you know I'm I'm trying to be a leader here uh, lead follower get out of the way because I'm not standing around for criticism in fact I I do my best to present the most pertinent uh, forward information that I possibly can and again I am going through the process myself as well I try to give people the benefit of you know the best stuff that I can glean about this what I want to let you know is that the sense of belonging truly within your heart belonging to your twin not just belonging to a soul group or belonging to a few people that resonate with you and click with you belonging to people from this planet or that planet or this consciousness or the Ford Motor Company or uh, the Volkswagen Company you know whatever it is that you may have felt connected with but the real sense of you belong to your twin flame and they belong to you of not possession not ownership 
for a lot of you, these emotions, these low emotions of jealousy, possession, ownership, they're literally coming out of your cells, but leaving you with a deep sense of you belong to each other no matter where in the universe you are. No matter where you travel to, no matter what your adventures are going forward, no matter what children or creations you bring near your union as the result of your lovemaking, that you belong with each other. You belong in each other. You're already belonging. There is something you belong to, and it is each other. And the gift that Twin Flames are giving is a light body blueprint. It is a l brand new light body. It is so that entities who haven't been born into a body, been born into an environment, are able to experience a physical living situation. A lot of you are the brave souls who's, who've been trying out your light bodies and you've been getting good at it and you've been uh, thriving, experiencing. You want to be like, woohoo, I'm going to jump ahead. A lot of you have been healing some of your uh, smaller things and, and for some of you, some bigger things. So a lot of you have he healed cancer. You've healed uh, trauma. Damage, sexual damage, and I mean some heavy-duty stuff, really heavy-duty stuff that would send other people into therapy for 10 or 20 years. And you've been able to do that by using who you are on the inside and expressing outward. Now, so the sense of belonging, of feeling that, yes, it's your identity. It is who you are. It's how you've been created. For me, this when I realized this is who I am, this is how I'm created, I was like, whoa. I was very humbled by it. This is who I am. That's who I really am. And I had to go through a series of, of remembrances. I mean, if I showed you my galactic resume or even my earthly resume, yeah, I've done a lot. I, I could almost say, well, let's just suffice it to say, You've done a lot, put the stamp on it, and move along and become new. Um, but it's, it's exactly those things that I once had in my life or identified as that literally needed to, you know, be put in the past, be relegated to where it belongs now in order to be new. So for some of you, please know that own your own identity, claim your union, Claim belonging, that your, your twin belongs to you. You don't have to run out and go tell them and say, hey, listen, you belong to me. You have to say it in your heart. We belong to each other. We're here for each other. I'm here. I'm here because we called each other and we promised each other. And a lot of you did. A lot of you did, and it is, this is taking a massive, massive, massive effort. Some of you have even had those experiences of dying a thousand deaths, of actually recalling a death in another timeline in order to pull yourself through here to be here. I want to encourage you again, have patience for your twin flame because if you're the one who's had an awakening and you're very up on things, you've done research and you're trying to uh, relate this to your twin flame, you're going to do a better job of it from the inside. And I really want you to know that this other thing that I'm talking about, which you're not going to find with any mental, emotional, false twin or a false twin or a soulmate. You're going to find that the enjoyment of things, okay, your inner satisfaction creates your outer enjoyment. What does that mean, Patricia? What that means is in order to have fun even doing the laundry, it better be your Twin Flames laundry. If you're going to have fun, if you're going to have an adventure, if you're going to have dinner, if you're going to go to a play, a concert, some music, play an instrument, write something, have your twin with you. Have your twin with you on the inside. Don't exclude them. That is being in your union. No excluding each other. Okay? 
I know that some people have had some extreme circumstances with their twin flame. They're still on the inside of you. It doesn't matter. You may have to give them space in the physical, but I, my wish for you is that space giving, that's going to really, really, you're going to tighten that up and you're going to come closer and closer and closer together. Okay? Because where you want to be, let's talk about if it's financial stuff. Here's your infinity symbol. Okay? And one of you's on one end and one's on the other, okay? When you start to pull yourself to your twin on the inside, that's when you, come, you meet in the middle. That's where you want to be. You want to be in the center point of your infinity symbol, not on the outer edges. So that's, that's your focus. Belonging within each other. Keep each other within don't scatter yourself. Don't fragment yourself. Don't split yourself in a million tiny little pieces and share pieces with everyone. Belong within each other. And you'll find that things will, um, things are in the point now where those divine parts of us are steering and driving. You're only going to be able to do so much from a human level. But those actions that you feel prompted to do, do it. If your heart's prompting you reach out to your twin do it I encourage you do it just do it have no regrets about it throw you're not even throwing caution to the wind you're trusting your heart you're trusting your higher self and you're trusting the universe that wants to smush you two together again being in love be in love be who you are be in love you're the love be in love and with that, I'm going to stop because uh, there's nothing better than being in love. So have a good day. Thank you.